Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we will discuss on chapter 10 mechanical and sound wave. So in this video, we are going to discuss on subtopic 10.2 standing wave. Okay, so what is the meaning of standing wave? It's actually the combinations of two waves in opposite direction. So y1 is given a sine omega t minus kx where minus here meaning that the wave is propagate to the right. And another wave is y equals to a sine omega t plus kx meaning that the wave is propagate to the left. Okay, so meaning that here we have two waves. The first one is propagate from left to right. And another one is from right propagate to the left in opposite direction. So therefore, it will form a standing wave. So equations for the standing wave is y1 plus y2. Finally, we will get y equals to 2a sine omega t or 2a here. We can write it as capital A cos kx sine omega t okay so this is the general equation for standing wave so there are three types of amplitude used in the describing standing wave so the first one is the amplitude of the individual wave uh, where a is the amplitude of the progressive wave okay so here initially we have only a uh, so when a plus a it become 2a okay b the amplitude of the particle so the amplitude of the particle equation is equal to 2a cos kx or capital a cos kx okay and the third one is actually the amplitude of the standing wave okay capital a or actually equals to 2 small a so meaning that when a plus a we will get 2a okay so this 2a is actually the amplitude of the standing wave huh? or we can write it as capital a equals to 2a where we combine two amplitude from the progressive wave so it will form one capital a or 2a huh, for the standing wave okay next one we will go to the equations of the standing wave find out Okay, explanation for the equations of the standing wave where we know that a cos kx is actually the amplitude of the particle okay of the particle where we will use these equations to find the positions of knots and also anti knots okay so when it's anti knots meaning that the maximum displacement is a okay so remember when anti knots here our equations for the amplitude of the particle is equal to a so a cos kx is equal to a therefore cos kx is equal to 1 eh? meaning that is maximum okay therefore our kx will equal to 0 pi 2 pi or 3 pi next for knots the displacement must equal to 0 eh? meaning that the amplitude of the particle is equal to 0 so a cos kx is equal to 0 Okay, so at cos 0, we will get kx is equal to pi over 2, 3 pi over 2, 5 pi over 2. Exercise 2. Two harmonic waves are represented by the equation below where y1 and y2 and x are in centimeter and t is in second. Okay, so from this equation, one is positive, another one is traveling negative. So we know that when we combine, it will form a standing wave. So write an expression for the new wave when both waves are superimposed. Okay, meaning that when they meet together, it will produce a standing wave. So y equals to y1 plus y2. So generally, we will get 2a cos kx sine omega t. So we substitute 2a a is the amplitude for the progressive wave where it's equal to 5 cm cos kx okay so from the equation here k is equal to 2 pi so we substitute 2 pi x and omega is equal to pi so it's equal to sine pi t or is equal to 10 cos 2 pi x sine pi t okay so this is the equations for the standing wave okay next one Determine the wavelength and the frequency of the standing wave. Okay, so 
from the equation just now we can we know that k is equal to 2 pi over lambda and the value for k is equal to 2 pi so therefore our lambda is equal to 1 cm okay next one frequency okay frequency we know that we can get it from omega where omega is equal to 2 pi f where omega here is equal to pi so therefore our frequency is equal to pi over 2 pi or is equal to 0 0.5 hertz okay so this is the answer for the wavelength and also frequency okay next questions number two Question number 2. A stationary wave is represented by the following expression where y equals to 15 cos 0 0.5 pi x sine 5 pi t. So if you compare with the general equation for standing wave where y equals to 2a cos kx sine omega t. Question 2a. Find the three smallest value of x where x greater to 0 that responds to knots. Okay, so as we know that just now, not meaning that our cos kx must equal to 0 because this is minimum. Okay, so our cos kx, kx is equal to 0 0.5 pi x or we can write it as pi over 2x equals to 0. So pi over 2x equals to at cos 0. So when we will get cos 0, meaning that is when the angle equals to 90 degree or we can write as pi over 2 3 pi over 2 or 5 pi over 2 and it's equal to pi over 2x okay so pi over 2 we can cancel off therefore x is equal to 1 3 or 5 cm okay the okay, next one we want to find anti knots so anti knots meaning that the amplitude is maximum where cos kx must equal to 1 Okay, because of the maximum. So therefore, cos pi over 2x equals to 1 pi over 2x is equal to at cos 1. Okay, so when we will get at cos equals to uh, 1, where it is 0 degree, pi, 2 pi, 3 pi, and so on. Okay, and it's equal to pi over 2x. So therefore, our x is equal to 0, 2 cm, 4 cm, 6 cm, and so on. But the question already mentioned x must greater than 0, meaning that our answer is actually equal to 2 cm, 4 cm, and 6 cm only. Okay, meaning that we ignore the 0 uh, because the question asks us to find x greater than 0. Okay, next we want to find the amplitude of the particle okay so the amplitude of the particle when x equals to 0 0.5 cm so we just substitute into the equations where the amplitude of the particle is equal to 15 cos 0 0.5 pi x where our x here is equal to 0 0.5 so we will get the amplitude is equal to 10.6 cm okay so remember this value here you must change your calculator in the radian mode okay so this is b1 okay next we want to find b2 so we substitute amplitude of the particle when x equals to 1.1 cm so we substitute 15 cos 0 0.5 pi and x is 1.1 cm Okay, so if you press calculator, we will get negative 2.35 cm. Okay, so remember to change your calculator mode in radian. And last one, amplitude of the particle when x equals to 2.2. So we substitute 15 cos 0 0.5 pi. X is 2.2. So therefore, the answer for the amplitude of the particle, we will get negative 14.3 cm. Question number 3, transverse wave traveling along a straight string at a speed of 80 meter per second and the frequency is 200 hertz. Stationary wave is produced on the string. A, find the distance between the two adjacent knots, where two adjacent knots here is the distance between the two knots. 
okay so as we know for one complete cycle here is actually one lambda okay so the distance between the two adjacent knots meaning there is lambda over 2 so we need to find what is the value for lambda so as we know v equals to f lambda where v is equal to 80 meter per second frequency is 200 times lambda therefore lambda is equal to 0 0.4 meter okay so the distance between the two adjacent nodes is lambda over 2 so it's 0 0.4 over 2 therefore we will get 0 0.2 meter and next one we want to find the distance between the knots and also anti knots okay knots and also anti knots meaning that the distance between knot and also anti knot okay it's this one so it's lambda over 4 okay so it's lambda over 4 so lambda is 0 0.4 over 4 is equal to 0 0.1 meter okay so that's all for this subtopic see you on next video bye